2000, just, just shout them out, y'all. Whoa, 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 it's your boy Logic, X3000 LCE, we in the building. Shout out to the whole battle rap community. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, all that and all that. Now look, it's been a minute. Yeah, you know I'm saying since I dropped the blog, you feel me? It's been probably like a week or so, you know what I mean? But hey, I got some shit I want to talk about right now with y'all. This ill will and dirty prep situation. Now, it's it's been getting a little out of hand. Um, everybody know Prep and Ill Will was supposed to battle. Now, Prep did an interview with Uncle Round 15 Minutes of Fame. He came through with an envelope that had some pictures or some files in it, some pictures of some girl that allegedly Ill Will supposedly had beat up or something like that, that they was in a relationship with. Or his baby mother, or I don't know. But apparently it's fake, you know what I'm saying? It's fake information, false props. Just like a lot of fake angles and stuff that go on in the battle rap. But Ill Will ain't going for that, you feel me? He, he ain't letting nobody come through with no fake angles on him. He like, prep, you come through with that, you gonna have to see me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, be <man>, like. <laughs> so I don't know if everybody been really following the whole situation. I've been following it here and there, you know what I'm saying, getting bits and pieces of the information. But I got prep explaining it um, right here in this video. I'm going to drop that for y'all, too, so y'all can check that out. Uh, but, yo, y'all remember when Ace I mean in the Ultimate Madness uh, tournament, when he was going up against Fonz, during the face-off, he had the envelope on the table, you know what I'm saying? And a lot, a lot of people was thinking, like, yo... <laughs> He had some like paperwork on Fonz in there and thinking that he was Ray Big K Fonz during the Ultimate Madness Tournament. And apparently it was just a fake prop, you feel me, to kind of throw Fonz off. And I think even the voters was voting for Ace. I think somebody even voted for Ace because of the fake prop. Like, oh yeah, he made Fonz fall for it. Like, what? <laughs> like, I ain't, I ain't even understand that. Like, for one, how somebody voted for Ace just cause he made Fonz, uh, you know what I'm saying, speak on an envelope situation in the battle. Like, I don't know. I never got that, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? But people wasn't really saying, some people wasn't saying too much about that. Like, I mean, I ain't, I mean, I thought it was just, it was a, a chess move, you feel me? But, hey, it's battle rap, yo. People going to do crazy things in battle rap. People always gonna bring up fake stuff. Like, y'all see what's, you know what I mean? Tay Rock been talking about five years. He been going off, like, what's fake or what? I don't know. You feel me? Some shit, I don't know what's what, but you feel me? I don't know. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all think that's some dirty, dirty preps shit. You feel me? That he was trying to do, bring the envelope in and you know what I'm saying? Uh, go off with the fake angle. But he was saying that he was just going off of uh, the John John battle with El Will and the 40 Cal, like the angles that they had. He just did his own twist to it for real, for real. So that's that's what he was saying. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. And I got some other stuff. Tay Rock, he, just, he dropping a new track, you feel me? He out here doing the A-Town stomp. Woo walk, crip walk, you feel me? Like, <laughs> hey, yo, check it out, yo. This, this shit is too funny, I get the packages. If they don't make it to me, it's never my fault. That's medicine talk. I get it in bulk. I'm talking incredible art, nigga. Running your crib and stepping your vault or the heckless fault. You never had heart. I'm calling your bluff. Pick up the phone. Got no identity. Niggas clones. Fuck what you talk. You barely know him. I'm on the road. I'm really home. Never who hate. I carry the chrome. Niggas keep playing. I'm and the dome. Niggas gon' watch you. Stone, 
nigga. Facts. I let you think shit sweet, but really you the pussy nigga. You play with me once, won't play me again. Up in the stuff, ain't making a mess. I don't want no debt, I shake enough hands. I'm making my money, not making no friends. My enemies watch and hate me to win. All of my ops don't make enough ends. I swear in the rental, I scrape all the bills. System so loud, it's shaking the rims, nigga. I spend all the 20s and keep all the 50s and 100s and make it a better. Wildin'. <laughs> Hey yo, Rock out here geeking, man. <laughs> hey yo, Rock say he ain't, he ain't got no moves, you feel me? But hey yo, the song sound cool, you feel me? So I guess he' supposed to be dropping that soon. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know everybody making that drill type of sound. Yeah, I man. I ain't, I don't know, man. But hey yo, um, some more news I want to talk about that I ain't get to speak about. T Rex said he will be returning to Battle Rap. If Hitman Holler return, so a lot of people really want to see Hitman back in the ring. I know Miss Hustle, she was calling him out. A lot of people been calling Hitman out. You know, Hitman, he been going back and forth with people, responding to the comments that people be saying things about him and the little stories, like he be trying to correct shit. But y'all let me know if y'all want to see Hitman Holler and T-Rex back in the ring real soon or this year, 2021. Um... And who y'all want to see him against, you feel me? But this your boy Logic, X3000 LCE. I'm out. I goes on Uncle Rod, I hype this shit up. Uncle Rod sees who's in the envelope. Next thing, got no team homie niggas hit me behind the scenes. IP hit me and say, yo, Ill Will got some personal shit going on right now. Last thing he need is for some shit like this to be in the air and make it matters worse. So I say, you got my word because I fucked with you. You got my word. I'm not going to show what's in that envelope. And I gave my word and I wasn't going to do it. You feel me? So weeks ago, I already said I wasn't going to show what's in that envelope. That shit was already a dead mission. I wasn't going to show what was in there. You feel me? But you feel a certain way about that. And as a man, I can't tell you how to feel. What was in the envelope? That shit wasn't nothing about you being no snitch, nothing about you being gay, nothing like that. But you feel disrespected. I ain't intend to disrespect you, but you feel disrespected. So since you feel disrespected, I can't tell you how to handle that shit. It different. So if you pop up on that type of time, then I gotta be on that type of time. As simple as that. You feel me? But I'm gonna say this here one time and one time only. The, the, the shit with the paperwork, with the report, the police report... And the shorty with the face beat up. That shit was just for aesthetics, man. That shit was just a prop to make the angle hit harder. The angle? I don't know if it's real or not. There's some shit that 40 Cal brung up when he was on stage. And he said he allegedly had ill will baby moms up there. That shit. And then the John John shit where he talked about in his battle. You feel me? So those two, I took those two angles and I put my own spin on the angle. So if those angles is real, then the angle I got is real. If those angles is fake, then the angle I got is fake. Simple as that. But like I said, 